Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to survive a dog attack. Now, dog attacks are rare, but the fact of the matter is that they do happen. And in this video, I will be giving you some tips and pieces of advice that might just save your life if you are being attacked by a dog. So let's get right to it. The best measures are preventative measures. So it is very important to know what the most dangerous dogs are. So do some research and take a look at what the most dangerous dogs look like and get to know their features. Now, the fact is that not all dangerous dogs will attack you. Not all dog breeds that are known to be dangerous will attack you. So don't automatically assume that just because you see a, a so-called dangerous dog breed that it's going to attack you. But be prepared. It is very important to know that the breed of dog that you are seeing is known to be a dangerous dog breed. And that way you can sort of be prepared. Now, if you notice that a dog is being aggressive towards you and it looks like it is going to attack you, then you can use the following strategies to try to prevent the attack from happening. Don't look threatening to the dog and definitely do not stare the dog in its eyes. Stay calm or at least look like you are calm. Now, if you are not calm, the dog might think that you are scared, which is definitely something that you do not want. And you also don't want to appear to be a threat to a dog. And if you are excited or sort of hyper, then what is going to happen is you, you might appear to be a threat to the dog. So you should definitely stay calm if a dog looks like they are going to attack you. Keep your hands down by your sides. You don't want to have your hands up in the air because that will appear to be threatening to the dog. Don't turn your back on the dog. If you turn your back on the dog, it might see that as a sign of weakness and that might cause it to actually attack you. Don't smile at the dog. If you show your teeth to the dog by smiling at it, it might view that act and it might view you showing your teeth as an act of aggression. Back away slowly from the dog. You don't want to make any quick movements. You want to keep everything slow and calm and just back away from the dog so you don't have to turn your back on the dog. Now, those were the things that you should do um, in order to prevent the dog from attacking you. So you would do those things if you noticed that the dog looked like it was going to attack you or if the dog was being aggressive towards you, you would do those things. However, these are the things, the things that I'm going to be talking about right now, these are the things that you would do if the dog actually started to attack you. Try to dodge the attack. Now, I don't mean run away from the dog because most dogs are very, very fast. So running away from the dog might not do you any good. However, you should try to dodge the attack. So if the dog is attacking you, you should try and move to the side when the dog is attacking you. Just try to use side movements to dodge the attack. Another strategy is sort of counterintuitive. If the dog wants to bite you, let the dog bite you, but do it in a safe way. So basically, one quick idea that comes to mind is to get your jacket and wrap it around your arm many times so that your arm is somewhat protected. And when the dog wants to bite you, give the dog that arm with the jacket around it. So the dog will bite down on your arm, but it probably won't do that much, that much damage because your arm will be somewhat protected because the jacket will be wrapped around it. 
If the dog bites you and it will not let go, then what you can do is try to shove something down the dog's throat. So you can grab a stick or a piece of wood and just try and shove it down the dog's throat because that will likely cause the dog to choke and let you go. It, you know, it will release its grip off of where, wherever it is biting you. Um, if the dog is biting your hand or your arm and your hand is in its mouth, you can try to use your fingers or some part of your arm to just get your hand down the dog's throat and just try to choke the dog and hopefully the dog will let you go at that point. Now, if all of those things do not work, then you will have to go to the last resort. The last resort is to simply fight back. Use all of your strength, all of your force, anything that you have around you and try to fight back. You can try to aim for the dog's eyes because that is a sensitive point for dogs or try to aim for any area of the dog that looks like it is exposed. And once again, use all of your force, all of your effort, all of your might and just fight back. Give it all that you've got. Just literally fight back. Just try and beat the dog at its own game. If the dog is trying to fight you, then you have to fight back. And once again, this is the last resort. But use all of your effort, all of your force, and anything that you see around you to fight back. And that's basically it. In this video, I have told you how to survive a dog attack. Once again, dog attacks are rare, but they do happen. And if you keep these strategies and tips in mind, you might just be able to save your life in the event of a dog attacking you. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.